got an iPhone but locked to someone else, Apple ID, don't worry. In this video, I will show you three effective methods to remove iCloud activation lock, including a free option. What's up guys, this is Mehran and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you some easiest and quick methods by which you can easily bypass iCloud activation lock from any iOS device which doesn't require any technical knowledge and anyone can use these methods at their home. So without wasting any time, let's dive in. So the first method which you'll be using to bypass iCloud activation lock which is extremely easy by using the Tenorshare for you key application which totally support iOS 18 new words and I have given the download link in the description and as well as in the comment section is by using the Tenorshare for you key you can also unlock any kind of lock screen of any iOS device even if it's running on iOS 18 you can also bypass activation lock without previous owner which you're about to do in this video not just that but you can also delete apple id from your ios device without data loss and password mdm lock bypass tool and some other useful features also available on a single application so first of all simply download your desired version from its official site which i have given down below and after downloading and installing the tenor share for you key to your desktop then just simply run for you key so as you can see we have got all features on a single page which we just discussed as at this moment let's make it clear as you can only bypass iCloud activation log from these models and support it iOS version as you can see on the screen so if you are removing iCloud activation log from any of these models then you are good to go now quickly connect your iOS device from which you want to bypass iCloud activation log click on remove iCloud activation log button on the app on your computer and then just click on start button and the for you key will start the magic as your iphone or ipad will get into recovery mode automatically and then you will be required to take your ios device into the dfu mode which is very easy to do you don't have to worry about that as the for you key has already provided the instructions all you have to just follow these instructions as we are using above iPhone 8 model. So I will press volume down button and then power button at the same time for just around 5 seconds. After 5 seconds, just release the power button but keep pressing the volume button for around 10 seconds. Once you are done with this, the 4U key will start jailbreaking your iOS device to get it ready for the next step. And once your device successfully jailbreaked, click again on start button, take your iOS device into the DFU mode again, just like we did before by pressing side button and the power button. And the for you key will start bypassing iCloud activation lock from your iOS device. It will take some time, so please be patient. As all you have to just take your iPhone into the DFU mode, and the rest will be done by the tenor share for you. Key. As you can see, we have successfully removed iCloud activation log from our iPhone by using the Tenorshare 4U key application within just a few minutes. You can also do the same by using the 4U key application. I've given the download link in the description and as well as in the comment section. Just download that and enjoy your iPhone without any hassle. Let me know if you guys have got any questions regarding this method. Now let's jump to the second method. Now the best thing about this method is it doesn't require a computer but this method is a bit technical as you have to be very careful and very focused while applying this method and also time consuming to bypass iCloud activation. So basically this method is called DNS method. I have mentioned some IPs on the screen which you would need to bypass iCloud lock. So first of all connect your locked iPhone to the Wi-Fi network and then just stay there. Now press power button for a while until you get these options. Now just click on Wi-Fi settings and after that go to the Wi-Fi options. Now on this page you will see configure DNS option just click on that and now you will have to enter some IPs manually. So simply delete the current one which will be shown there and after that click add server. Now it depends if you are living in the USA you will have to enter the USA IP as mentioned on the screen. For Asian countries, enter Asian IP. For European countries, enter use your European 
IP. As I mentioned, this method is a bit technical, but if you have time and you have some knowledge about technology, then you would be able to do this. As you can see on the screen, once you enter USA IP, you will be required to duplicate them for around five times, then go down and make sure to use your own country code name as I am using USA where required. You can pause this video here if you want to, but make sure you are entering everything correctly. As I am doing it a bit faster just to save some of your time, otherwise the video will be too long and might be boring for some viewers. So once you are done, click on save on the right top corner. Now go back and forgot your Wi-Fi network and again connect to the same Wi-Fi network. Now go ahead, once you reach this point, enter your country IP again on both bars, I mean on the password as well. Just click on next as it will say wrong password or login, but you have to keep pressing next button until the iPhone give up. I mean, after a few times, the iPhone will definitely log in as you will be able to go ahead and you will be successful on bypassing iCloud activation lock. As this method should definitely work for you as well as it's a bit technical but very popular for bypassing iCloud activation lock from any iOS device. So you can also follow these methods, but in my opinion, the first one by using the tenor share for you key is very simple and easy to do and also doesn't require that much time. So the third method is basically connecting to the Apple support. This method is also a bit technical as you will be required to connect Apple support directly. While this method doesn't guarantee success, especially if you don't have a proof of purchase or ownership. Let's say if you have bought the second hand iPhone then you might not be able as you won't have a proof of purchase or ownership. Apple support may provide guidance to alternative solutions based on your situations but all you need to do just go to prepare documentations connect apple support and explain your situations and after that the apple would be able to facilitate you but keep in mind if you don't have a proper documentation then the apple will never bypass icloud activation log from your iphone so between all these three methods i will definitely recommend the first one by using the channel share for your key as you don't need any documentations you don't need any ips or any other technical things just connect your iPhone to the desktop and tenor share for your key will do the magic for you. So these were all the three methods to bypass iCloud activation lock in 2025. Let me know if you guys have got any questions regarding this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.